How are you doing, American Jiu-Jitsu family? As you could see, again, it's a beautiful day. Today we're going to work on video number eight, and this will conclude the one through eight base retaliations. Today we're going to work on retaliations five, six, seven, and eight. Obviously, I have no uki or opponent to work with, so we're doing this through visualization. Um, you know, everything is different. Um, we know that. And we're working from home. Uh, the dojo will open up soon and we'll be able to practice these techniques with each other. But for now, that doesn't mean we can't work on techniques at home. You know, it's a funny thing about life. If uh, we all know how to walk, thank goodness, uh, but if we laid in bed for a week and we stopped walking, uh, we'd have a hard time walking. So we gotta continue to train, we gotta continue to work out, and we gotta continue to be healthy. You know, in today's world, what's going on, uh, don't become a couch potato. Uh, you gotta have your routine, you gotta still do your work. Kids gotta do their academics, their homework. Uh, like I always say, you gotta get up, make your bed, have that routine, okay? Uh, and what, that's what we're trying to do here with the videoing. Uh, right now, we have uploaded basically the entire yellow belt list, and I will continue to go right through the belt list um, as this unfolds, and then as we have uh, people that we can work with, I'll have other people join in and help me with some of these videos. But right now, uh, we're gonna work on the last uh, four retaliations, um, and we'll post those up on uh, YouTube, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy, watch them, and get to critique and work on your techniques. Okay, so we did one, two, three, and four, which was the high punch, the high punch, the straight punch, the straight punch. Um, now we're gonna work on uh, if a person came out our body as a low punch, okay? So if a person came and tried to th throw a low punch or hit us in that belly, we're gonna block, okay? We're gonna protect our whole lower part of the body, our groin, they're looking to hit us with an uppercut, and we're gonna block, okay? We're gonna block that punch. After we block that punch, we're gonna use that back fist that we learned in one of the videos. We're gonna use that back fist right to the person's face, which is gonna drive their head back. Then from there, we're gonna step in, and we're gonna drive with a vertical fist strike right to the person's belly, which again is gonna hunch that person over. We're gonna grab that person, bring that knee strike, and finish off with a downward elbow strike. So you see a lot of similarities between what we did and what we're doing, and that's how we build American Jiu Jitsu. So we got that from both sides. We again, block the midsection, make sure that block is protecting the lower part of the body. From here, we back fist strike to the face, because after we block, we can back fist strike, we vertical fist strike right to the person's midsection. From here, we knee strike, and then we finish off with a downward elbow strike. So, on the first one, it's block, back fist, punch, knee, and strike. On the second one, it's block, back fist, punch, knee, and strike, okay? The next two techniques are come from attack, wedge attack, whether it be a high wedge attack or a low wedge attack. With the high wedge attack, this could be a person coming at us with a chair or a person that's gonna grab us, overwhelm us, and we call that a wedge attack. So what we're gonna do here is as the person comes at us is we're gonna block from here by putting both hands up, okay? Stopping that action from happening. Making sure you're keeping the head off to one side. After that, we're gonna take that palm blow and drive it to the person's face, which is gonna push that person back. After we drive it to the person's face, with our left leg, we're gonna step in and strike to the person's head. From here, after we strike to the person's head, we're actually gonna pivot and turn our body, okay? As we pivot and turn our body, we're gonna use that rear elbow strike that we used in an earlier video from here and strike, bang, right to the person's belly. That's gonna bring the person's head down here, so we're gonna strike to the person's groin, strike to the person's face, and then finish off with the palm blow. So let's put that together and look at that one more time. From here, the high wedge attack is here. We palm blow and drive the person back, we hit the person to the side of the face, we take our right leg, we step back, and we elbow strike right to the person's belly, back fist strike to the groin, back fist strike to the face, and then palm blow right to the person's face. The last technique is a person coming at us, maybe like a grappler, a low wedge attack, maybe they're trying to shoot for our legs. So, with this technique, as they come at us, we're gonna block with our both hands, keeping our head off to the side, so we don't bunk heads when that person comes at us. From here, while that head is right there, we're gonna deliver a roundhouse elbow strike right to the person's head. From here, we're gonna drive right here, boom, to the person's head again, and then we're gonna step in and do an upward elbow strike to finish that person off, which is gonna buckle their head back. So let's watch that again. Low edge attack, roundhouse, 
hit, and then upward elbow strike. So now we have four, okay? We have the first one, which is the low punch, okay? Block, back fist, punch, knee, elbow strike. We have the opposite side. Block, back fist, punch, knee, and elbow strike. We have the high wedge. High wedge looks like here. Palm goes to the face, palm goes to the face. Elbow to the body, back fist to the groin, back fist to the face, palm goes to the face. And then we have our rear low wedge attack where we're gonna block, roundhouse strike, hit, and then upward elbow strike finishes it off. So that concludes our one through eight basic retaliations which is required at the yellow belt level. Like I said in the earlier video, always remember that uh, learning anything new, experiencing anything new is confusing, okay? But repetition is the mother of all skill. The more you do something, the longer you do something, the better you learn something. Uh, I hope this doesn't last a long time, what we're all going through right now, but we're definitely gonna learn something. We're definitely gonna become better. We're definitely gonna become stronger. I got three things I always tell you at the end of these videos. Number one, stay home. Number two, stay safe. Number three, stay healthy. Thank you so much. Tune in for our next video. Have a great day. Let's